There's no one like you, my little girl. Your eyes so blue under those brown curls. Soon you're on your way. Promise me that you know the world is yours. Strike them with your glow. Go on now, be good, be fine. Live your life, dream big, don't forget to be kind. Live, it's your life. Rocks are meant to be. Picked up and thrown. New ideas can be pleasantly overgrown. You know where to go if you follow that heart. One step at a time. We all play our part. Go on now, be good, be fine. Live your life, dream big, don't forget to be kind. Live it's your life. Go on. sample and as you can see the joining wasn't very good and I knitted it from the bottom upwards so um in the past month or so I've been working on this particular sample of a similar cardigan but with more of a cropped um version and different stitching because the stitching i used was from a jumper pattern i can still use the same sort of um stitching patterns but it was a vintage jumper pattern i used it from so i thought i'd do something different and knowing how um difficult it is to make um patterns up write them down i thought i would keep it to a simple pattern design and incorporate the shawl collar again but this time the shawl collar let me bring it down a little bit The shawl collar is quite wide at the top and it's knitted from the top downwards so there is no visible join to the shawl collar although there is a join but it's the way you've knitted it you don't see it and there's no seam you increase as you go down towards the button band
Michael Bears, the Lady Jean. Yeah, I'm not quite sure where, but I'm sure I've seen her over in Kirkwall. my bed right. that is definitely my bed well it's between 6 30 and 7 in the morning and we are now sailing across from Stromness to Scrabster
ready for test knitting. So that's definitely going up today. That should be on the um, on the Ravelry test um, pool today. So yeah, it's, this is terrifying, exciting, and exposing. I feel quite exposed by it all. So, you know, so if you can really help me out by either test knitting, test knitting it for me, letting all your friends know that the pattern's coming up soon. And there, the dog rose. You get a lot of dog roses in here. On opening, oh look, yeah.
Um, so what I'm doing today is, is talking about making a pattern, a knitting pattern. And basically, I can knit it out of my head quite easily. Actually writing it down is quite hard. I'm not going to be one of these major influencers who churn out patterns a lot. I just keep doing um, things that I like. The other thing I found very challenging was the grading. However, I've been grading for a long my own my own work for a long time. I have an Excel spreadsheet where I insert all the my own particular particular measurements and from there it develops how many yards I need, how many ounces I need, um and what stitches I need to cast on in a general basis. Therefore, I had to work out how many stitches each size would need for casting on, how much they would need when they got to this point here to split for the um, sleeves and the body, um, how many inches that they needed to knit inches. Up. And then also the other thing is, is, I like to work in inches, but to be fair, there are some people that like to work in centimetres. So I've had to um, make sure that the centimetres and the inches are the equivalent um, for each size. As an older knitter, I have been able to knit old pa older patterns for a long time um i think what they they're saying now is a lot of the influencers have modernized it so that people can um understand a knitting pattern i have to say that's okay but there are some times in a lace pattern for instance when you have to um <clears throat> when you're sort of incorporating it into a circular yoke that you may have to end the row with a slip stitch which it can't be an ssk which is slip slip knit in other words slip two stitches put your needle through the back the back loop and knit them together it doesn't work that way if you've started at the beginning of the row with the knit two together it all needs to match up so you might have to put slip sl slip one sl one the knit two together well then you've already done that bit so then you put a pSSO which means pass slip stitch over that's the old way that's the old way that we used to write in patterns. Now we talk about SSK, which is slip one, knit one, pass slip stitch over for the older knitters. For SSSK, which is knit three together, you do the old way was slip one, knit two together and pass the slip stitch over. And, you know, to be perfectly honest, I enjoy that more than the knitting three to three stitches together. So occasionally I will do that anyway. I will revert to my old way of doing things. But I don't really enjoy the new way. I enjoyed the older way. And before I can put the... um pattern out onto the market so to speak i really need to, it to be test knitted but my first priority even before having it test knitted is to send it to a tech editor to make sure that my calculations are correct so going back to the pattern we i need to do finish this off make sure that it fits 
with the pattern that all the um, shaping and everything else works. The other thing I wanted to mention was I've made the pan so that it's for a four and a half mil needle, which means that it'll be very, uh, with double knitting it, and it's a double knitting yarn that you would use, um, it would make it quite drapey, which is what you'd want for a summer top. In this part of the world, it can be still quite cool. What you probably think of as cold, shall we say, um, at say a bright day and it's 11 degrees centigrade. Last year was hot for me here. But you see, I've got acclimatized to cooler temperatures. So, hope you enjoyed that today. And so, as I always say, keep knitting. See ya. So she's very squashy. Mm.